G'day and welcome to the 14th video in this series of Jim Caronis' 100 Integrals. And I must admit, looking at this one, my heart sinks a little bit. Uh, we have a fraction again. I think the last few integrals have been fractions. Uh, two polynomials, and the one on top is of higher degree, which means that we divide. And looking at it, it's not a division that I look forward to. So I'm going to... I don't have a lot of board space. And please forgive me, I... Not everyone knows synthetic division, and I use it infrequently, so I forget it. I'm going to perform a normal sort of division and then erase it because I just don't have the space. But we're going to divide 2x minus 1 into x cubed. And to keep our columns much the same as we would <coughs> dividing with numbers, we have no x squareds and no x's and no constant. Now, x cubed divided by 2x is going to be x squared on 2. So that will give us our x cubed. And negative 1 times this will be negative x squared on 2. We subtract. We get x squared on 2. Now, x squared on 2 divided by 2x is going to give us x on 4. So we put that in the x column. Bring this down, multiply, negative 1 times this is negative x on 4, subtract, get x on 4, x on 4 divided by 2x, the x's divide out, we get 1 eighth, and 1 eighth times that will be x on 4, this has come down as plus 0, and negative 1 times that is negative 1 eighth, and we subtract and get plus 1 eighth. Well, that looks riveting, doesn't it? But what it means is this. We get the integral of this Now I'm going to keep that separate plus Now, this was the remainder so it stays over this. So 1 eighth over uh, that I'm going to leave the 1 8 out the front. And that's what we get from our division. Because this was a cube and this was simply a linear function, we got a quadratic. And uh, we're left with our remainder that's going to provide a logarithm for us. So let's just remove this now as best I can with my high-tech fingers. And we'll continue. The integral of this, uh, I'll leave the half, it'll be x cubed on 3, plus 1 quarter, x squared on 2, uh, plus x on 8, plus 1 eighth, and because I'll get my blue pen, because the derivative of 2x is 2, I'm going to put a 2 there, and compensate with a half out the front. So that's not actually an eighth. It's one sixteenth of the logarithm of 2x minus 1. Because it can assume or take negative values, I'll use absolute value plus c. What an untidy mouthful that is. Looking across here, I'll tidy this up. x cubed on 6 x squared on 8, x on 8, plus 1 16th log 2x minus 1. And I guess if I was looking for a lowest common multiple, I think it would be uh, 8 will go into 16. I think we're looking at 96. No, we can probably get away with 48. So 1 48th of 8x cubed plus 6x squared plus 6x plus 3 log 2x minus 1. 
And I'm afraid that's about as good an answer as we're going to get. A bit of an untidy, slightly dissatisfying sort of integral. It feels good because you've succeeded in getting it out, but there's not a lot of elegance. It tends to be just sheer crunch. Anyway, for what it's worth, I hope that helped. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I thank you for watching.